What's up everybody, welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Let's Fly RC. Usually on this channel we fly drones. They've got four propellers, fly really fast and really agile, but they don't fly for very long. Airplanes fly for a really long time. But unfortunately with an airplane you have to have a big long runway to take off or land on and they're not extremely agile. So the best of both worlds would be an airplane that could take off like a quadcopter and fly for a really long time and then land like a quadcopter. A vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL airplane does exactly that. It will take off just like a drone and then transition into an airplane and it'll be the best of both worlds essentially. So that's exactly what I did. I've got this prototype here and we're at Rotor Riot Rampage and we're gonna test it out. That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. <laughs> oh, the wings yeah. fell off. Oh, that's okay. They're made to come off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, watch. that's cool. It's just a little pin. Yeah, watch this. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's alive again. All right, if you're in quadcopter mode, it acts like a quadcopter. Okay. As soon as you flip into transition mode, it tries to hold its altitude as it's transitioning. Gotcha. But then you're basically in airplane flight mode. So as you give it more throttle, you don't gain altitude, you gain forward flight. Gotcha, okay. Right? And then as soon as you flip the switch into complete airplane manual mode, then all the controls act like an airplane. Aileron, elevator, everything becomes an airplane. I was trying to flip it back into quad mode so that it would stabilize itself, but I ended up flipping it into airplane manual by accident. Gotcha, okay. And that went flipped out. As for better conditions right now, it is really beautiful out and sunny and hot and not windy. And that's what we need for something like this because it's an airplane and they don't like wind. We're gonna test flight for the first time ever as an actual airplane and hopefully it works. Yes. Um, Let's say make sure your video is working. Let's make sure. So I'm gonna be his recorded. spotter and safety pilot. What? Oh, easy. oh yeah. It's so easy. Alright. Right. Like I'm going FPV. Oh and really? FPV. Oh wow. All right, here we go. We're gonna get a little more altitude. A little more yeah. altitude, because when it's solid, you don't have to go straight to the ground. There right, we go. Airplane, here we go. Hope huh. it doesn't crash. Oh boy. I'm flying like an airplane. There we go. It's working. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, this is really cool. I wanna fly it out. Oh, here. this is awesome. This is so cool. Let's see if I can go back yeah, to a quadcopter. Let's see if you can transition it now. I wanna go back to a quadcopter. Dang, All right, this slowing, here we go. Whoop. All right, I'm slowly slowing down. Okay. Quadcopter mode only allows like angle mode. So basically with angle mode, he's not an actor where you can do like feet. flips and rolls. It's gonna help stabilize him, which is gonna really help him in this case. I'm gonna lay at my feet, I'm gonna let you fly it. This is okay. so cool. cool. Nice job, Sean. Woo! Woo! It worked! That doesn't crash, it worked! That. <laughs> yes! All right, let me fly this thing. Oh, this is cool. It has a little bit of yaw twitch. It does, but All it's right, okay. Here we go. Oh my god, you're like a natural. Yes! Oh okay, I'm in airplane mode yes, now. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. It is really fast. It's so fast. That is awesome. You're doing a much better job flying it than I was. <laughs> I was scared. He's like, I don't care if I crash Sean's plane. No, that's always the mentality <laughs> is I don't care if I crash Sean's plane. It does have a very high stall speed. So there it is. That's full pitch back. It's not tipping a wing or anything. Wow. This is fun. That this is, is so like cool. what you want in FPV. You want to be able to go somewhere far, but then just be able to land it as well, transition. Inverted. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the roll rate is so high. It's like so fast. Go for the two. Go for the All right, going for the two. All right, here we go. Thank you for not crashing. Don't break this one, please. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I don't really want to break this one. Whoa. God. I didn't even get that. I didn't even get it. Not even Coming a little bit. I'll do one more flyby. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh. oh. We're good. We're okay. I don't know what it did. It just freaked out. Well, I know it touched the ground, but I like, I touched it and went boom. It just like did a You have to do it again. All right, all right, hold on. That scared me. Oh my God. I think I peed a little bit after that one. Yeah. Awesome. Like I barely missed the cart. All right, here we go. Transitioning. Oh Cat. my gosh. Nice. So awesome. Boom, 
right at our feet. It looks really it's so it. much fun. It's easy to fly it too. Looks really the only fun. thing is like when you give it like in, in airplane mode when you're like above 70% throttle, like when I was trying to fly by, it gets super pitch sensitive. Yeah. Like I was like, okay, I just need to make a tiny adjustment, boom. <laughs> I could see this being used like for delivery. People are always mm -hmm. talking about like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to use drones for delivery? And it still yeah. hasn't happened. I don't know if it's ever really gonna happen. <laughs> right? But if it does, this this might be a technology that's employed because you know a challenge with like trying to carry a payload, you know, far distances and deliver it to a very precise location. It means that a you know a drone isn't good for that because it can't fly for very long and a fixed wing airplane isn't good for it because it can't necessarily like get right to your doorstep, but this can. Building these things was a challenge. I spent about three months learning the software. So is a lot of the software already out there? I mean, what are you using? Yeah, so I was using a new software called ArduPilot. And if you can imagine using Betaflight and doing everything in CLI or mm -hmm. virtually everything, that's kind of like what ArduPilot is. Extremely daunting to learn. The great thing about it though is it's so capable. There's like so many different types of VTOLs you can make. Mm -hmm. and it's just so customizable, I love it. So these look a little bit different. What, what do you got going on with this? It looks like to me, you just basically took a quad, because you got four yeah. props here, and you took a plane, and you just smashed them together. That's you got exactly. peanut butter in my jelly, you got quad in my plane, here we go. It's because, exactly what we did. Okay. Yep. This is a quad plane, and that's what they call it, a quad plane. Mm -hmm. And you basically just have a quadcopter that takes off, and then when you get to a certain altitude, the fifth prop starts spinning, to gain the speed. Eventually, you get up to enough airspeed where you can turn off the other propellers and this one takes over and you're just an airplane. So during the transition, you have all five spinning? All five spinning. So and these then are once keeping you... you stable. Right. And this is gonna move you forward. Because you need actual airspeed for the wings to do anything. So then, once this prop has done its job and you've gotten some airspeed and you actually got some lift going, mm -hmm. you can shut down the four motors and it's just straight up a plane and these motors are just hanging out, they adding drag, stop. doing yeah. nothing. Okay. Because it actually has braking built in, these actually completely stop, which is oh, kind of cool. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah. So I mean, the only criticism I can kind of see of this is that like you've got four whole motors and the weight associated with that motors hanging out doing nothing right. for I'd say 95% of the flight right because yeah. you're only using them for the, the volt holes. So they're so, basically adding drag and weight to the right. airplane. Right so it's, it is kind of a bummer to see that. So yeah. I see this one is different I think this kind of takes that into consideration because I'm seeing a lot less motors and I'm yeah. seeing that they do a little twisting. This is a tilt rotor VTOL and the front two motors do multiple functions. Mm -hmm. They tilt up as a quadcopter and because- well, it's not a quadcopter, baby. A tricopter. Tri tri that's right. When you think of a drone, you usually think of a quadcopter and the way quads do yaw is by spinning two motors that spin the same direction faster than the two other motors spinning the opposite direction and that angular momentum differential creates the yawing action. And now with a tricopter, where you've only got three motors, that means you've got to get the yaw from somewhere else. A tricopter usually has a tilt motor in the back to give it yaw authority. Mm -hmm. This plane doesn't need it because the two front motors act as yaw authority when both of them can tilt simultaneously to create that yaw. And it's so cool to watch. Best thing about this is that when you're in forward flight, you technically only have one motor and one prop as drag. Right, okay, so working. the tilting achieves two things. They actually tilt forward and that becomes the forward flight motors, and then this guy just becomes useless. Definitely have to think about with VTOL if the useless motor is worth the extra drag or not. Mm -hmm. So one of the greatest things about a VTOL versus a standard airplane is that you could technically carry a heavier battery than you could in a regular airplane mm -hmm. because you have the extra lift to get it off the ground and stable. Oh, okay. Where an airplane would have a hard time taking off with that much weight. I would not have thought own. about it like that. Okay. So you could get a longer flight time just by being able to put a bigger battery in it. Well, Sean, overall, I think you did an awesome job as usual putting these things together. And I love the 3D printed things that you've got going on here. They're very sculpted. My friend Mark actually gave me these designs and uh -huh. he's already built this so I don't want to pretend like this is totally my design it was so much fun to build so what's the next thing what, what are you trying next what are we doing here so we are here at Rotor Riot Rampage 2022 last year we did ring drone and we had a bunch of the community members help me build it I thought it was so awesome and so much fun everybody loved it we thought why not try something this year as well and we're gonna take this and blow it up to a giant scale size you got some people that came out here to the event want to help you out on a community build all right well let's get you into the build room and get this thing put together awesome that is amazingly smooth. Dude, man, that thing is beautiful. Dude. I didn't even have to pin tune this one. Let's do a forward flight test on the back motor. How far that 
that here. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to fly that here. Please land. This thing flies so good. It's better than all the other ones I've done so far. This might be one of the crazier projects you've done. I like it. I like it a lot. Hours worth of work. All right. Multiple people involved. Here we go. Here we go. It's really good. One FPV. All right. Here we go. Transitioning. Yo! Airplane. Straight at the tent. I'm an airplane. I'm completely in airplane mode now. Complete manual. Really? Yes. How does it fly? Oh, it flies great. It flies like an Optera, but it's a little bouncy. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, the yeah. pitch is a little bouncy, but it's flying. Yeah. All right, we're in transition mode. What's transition? It's slowing mode down. It's slowing down on its own. Quadcopter mode. Oh, okay. All right, we're backing up, that turning so around. <laughs> That is so cool! We are literally look ah, I love that so much. That That's so, so weird to see a wing do that. <laughs> what? That was so weird. That was awesome! Oh, oh, Dude, it's going, oh my gosh! A wing is not Dude, supposed to do that. This is literally mode. this is literally some Avengers type ah! stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, no, not the power lines. Not the power lines. Okay, I went to quadcopter mode to save it. Oh my god! Oh my god. That, that is so is so weird looking. That's when like it's just stop. All right, we're in transition. Okay. We're in quad. Yeah, that oh is so my cool. God. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. So you know how Amazon is like trying to do drone delivery? Oh, yeah. I think this would be perfect because you can have a really long battery Where life at being a wing and then just have a quadcopter drop a package. Are you going sideways intentionally? Yes. Yes. Okay. So in quadcopter mode, do you oh have auto level? Sean, that was amazing. That is so, that is so cool. Freaking awesome. That is so cool. Oh my God. That is so cool. That's <laughs> so cool. It. That's the coolest That's thing. That's so cool. Thing yes. yeah. It oh works. God. Congratulations, everybody that yeah, did this. That was this was awesome, amazing man. community project at Rotor Right Rampage 2022. Thank you so much to the guys that helped me build the giant airplane VTOL. We had so much fun with it. It was exciting. Huge thanks to my good friend Mark for helping me with this project and getting it up and running so that I could learn RD Pilot which was really daunting and really hard to learn. I had so much fun and I learned so much about RD Pilot. If you guys want to build any of these planes that I built, I will have links in the description to all of the plans, all of the parts, and I will even give you all of my parameters so you can have a good starting point. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, don't forget to go to rotoriot.com and come to Rampage. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time on Rotoriot.